Hi, this is Ken Wells, NM9P, with my uh, Flex 6500, and uh, demonstrating some interesting noise sources I've seen around my house. At about a bearing of 90 degrees uh, straight east of my house, I've uh, been able to detect uh, using uh, the 6 meter uh, receiver and my uh, log periodic antenna a whole lot of really nasty spikes and you can see the pattern and it seems to be the pattern is about a uh, megahertz apart here uh, but uh, you notice there's definitely some hump stuff this kind of looks like either somebody's got a grow light or some uh, really badly operating like pool heater or uh, charge controllers on an RV or something like that. Uh, when somebody wrote about this about a month ago on the Flex community, the response uh, from some folks was to just turn the weighted average off on the pan adapter and it'll make them go away because they're not really there. Well, uh, turn that off and you can see the noise still is there and you can see some ragged edges, but it's not being highlighted by the uh, displays uh, weighted average which I turn it back on it does that it shows me there's some really sharp upward spikes in this interference and uh, if I turn the wideband noise blanker on at this play at this point it doesn't do anything because the bandwidth being displayed is wider apparently than the algorithm on the wideband noise blanker will calculate so uh, if uh, if I was to zoom in eventually there comes a time where all of a sudden it kicks in. Well, that's that wasn't that. That was the change of the bandwidth. And is it turned on yet? Nope. There it goes. Uh, it's it's softened it down a bit. Now I can demonstrate this a lot more if I move up to six meters. So there are six meters. Let me back out and show you what it is again. Because on six meters, it's even more visible. And uh, I've zoomed in a bit more, and you can tell that. But uh, you can see it's a regular pattern. And right around, there's a kind of a blank hole uh, in here, right around the weak signal part of six meters. Now, at this uh, zoom factor, if I uh, shut the display weighting av weighted averaging off, it makes the display look a little bit more, but you can see it's still jumping up and down here. And it still has a, a pretty ragged edge on the uh, pen adapter display. But uh, if I turn the white brand uh, noise blanker on, and when it kicks in, boom. You can see on the waterfall and in the display that it has quieted down a lot. Now let me zoom in some more on that. Uh, by the way, these uh, spikes over here are some people's cordless uh, telephones or actually baby monitors <laughs> that are uh, visible around my neighborhood. Um, and uh, you can see the baseline is still kind of ragged. So even though the wideband noise blanker is, is knocking out a lot of that interference, you can tell when I shut it off. Now I turn it back on. It... Uh, it knocks a lot of it off once it kicks in. It brings the uh, noise floor down to about 134. And you can hear the hum goes out of the signal. But when uh, I turn it back off again, the noise floor goes up to about 130. So there's about four decibels of change. But the, the spikes uh, have gone up to about 118, 116 minus. And uh, that's quite a bit of noise. And even if you try to trick it with the weighted averaging so it doesn't look as severe, you can still tell it's there. And you can hear it's there. And when I turn the blanker on, it gets a lot more quiet. And I've got my blanker set at 97 on 6 meters, which works. But on lower frequencies, uh, having it set up that high sometimes will make you susceptible to overloading from a sharply uh, uh, edged signals, uh, either CW signals or strong sideband signals, especially if they're using a lot of processing or especially some, some broadcast uh, shortwave stations that are overdriven and distorted and they have sharp uh, transitionary edges and uh, spikes 
uh, it, it can tear you up on some of those frequencies. But anyway, I thought some of you might uh, be interested in the uh, noise profile <laughs> here uh, at my place and some others. I'm not sure what it is. Like I said, I don't know whether it's a grow light or some just nasty power line uh, leakage or somebody's got a pool charger, a RV plugged into its charger, uh, but it's been running uh, pretty much nonstop. I haven't been able to trace it down yet and uh, hope to get out to the neighborhood uh, this weekend and maybe track it down. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. 7-3, have a wonderful day. This is NM9P, Ken Wells, uh, out.